Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from Life with the Wolfies. <music> focused on pandemics and vaccines and masks and all that stuff but I somebody sent me a really interesting video today on toothpaste and I will link the video in the show more info box below this video but what I want you to know is that toothpaste is poisonous she made me look at well I have two different kinds of toothpaste in my house now I don't I can't speak for um, I can't speak for Sensodyne, but any toothpaste with fluoride in it is toxic. T um, excuse me, I gotta turn this light on for a second. Did you know toothpaste comes with a warning? Can you read that? Of course you can't, it's too blurry. That warning says, keep out of reach of children under six years of age. If more, then used for brushing accidentally is swallowed who doesn't swallow part of their toothpaste if more is used for brushing that and is accidentally swallowed get medical help or contact a poison control center right away active ingredients sodium fluoride Inactive ingredients, sorbitol, water, hydrated silica, PG8, sodium, laurel sulfate, CD, alcohol, 38B, flavor, cellulose gum, sodium saccharin, titanium dioxide. That's in my favorite toothpaste. Now, here's Colgate. and Look at the amount of writing on the back of this. But again, the warning is clear. Keep out of reach of children. If swallowed, call a poison control center or get medical help right away. Do not, okay, adults and children two years of age and older, do not swallow. Brush teeth thoroughly, preferably after each meal or as directed by a health practitioner. Children under six years of age should use only a pea size amount and be supervised. Okay, I did a little bit more digging, and let me tell you something. Fluoride is not only toxic, it's poisonous, and I'm going to leave some links below for you to look up uh, on fluoride. There is absolutely no reason that should be in our city waters. Thank God I'm on a well, and there's absolutely no reason it needs to be in toothpaste. As a matter of fact... Oh, uh, too much fluoride will decay your teeth. You hear me? Let me just, let me just reiterate that. Hundreds of research articles published over the past several decades have demonstrated potential harm to humans from fluoride at various levels of exposure, including levels currently deemed safe. Fluoride is also known to impact the cardiovascular, central nervous, digestive, endocrine, immune, integumentary, renal, and respiratory systems, and exposure to fluoride has been linked to Alzheimer's disease, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, infertility, and many other health outcomes. Now, I am going to... I'm going to put a link for that in the the description box below this video. But folks, okay. if you're using I've had two cavities in my whole life, but I'm missing six teeth. Six perfectly healthy teeth from bone loss from my jaw. And I have brushed my teeth two time one to two times a day my entire life with fluoride to with fluoride toothpaste and guess what they put it in the city waters they they put it in city water and guess what else when i was a kid in in uh, public school when we moved to the country because we had no fluoride in our water my father and every other parent in the school consented to have swish come in and swish 
was a fluoride treatment that you would swish in your mouth and spit out. And we had that those treatments. I can't remember how often it was. I, I, I think maybe it was like once a month or twice a year or something. But fluoride, swishing children's mouth, mouths with a fluoride solution. Now I'm missing six molars and only ever had two cavities in my life. <laughs> this is a Mrs. Wolfie from Life with the Wolfies saying, I'm going back to baking soda and peroxide. <laughs>